Cool, what's up people, Dom Schwartz is right here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Today, before we start, please check out Funky Figures, they are awesome. Sadly, we had to say goodbye to Warrington, but Berry and Wigan are still open running, so please do check them out. Today, I know some of you guys don't like this set, but we've got ourselves Maximum Gold Eldorado. I love gold rares, I know a lot of you guys hate them because they're poorly made, but there's still some great cards in the set. Now, I know some of you say, no, they no, they've got terrible cards in the set. Okay, I'll prove you wrong. Axis Code Talker, Elderlidge, IP Masquerade. Don't see the real rarity collection number two. Yes, I know, but I'd rather pay, in like in this day of age, I'd rather pay 15 quid for this and hope, for, hope to God to get them for four packs than spending 10 pound for one pack of them and probably get none of them. Do you get the gist of it? Good. So, let's crack open El Dorado. And again, there's some great gold rares in here that are still worth money. I know a lot of people don't like gold rares, but like I said, there's people out there that do like them and would trade or even buy them off people. So, yes, there you go. Anyhow, let's crack it open. I need to move the cardboard out of the way there. So, I'm hoping to get some good pulls here. I have bought two of these, just out of random spite, because I do like Eldorado a lot. But, there's a great set, I like it. I do like the Gold Series stuff, and they were fun. But without further ado though, let's stop jibber jabbering. We've got four packs, let's hope we get something amazing out of Eldorado. A glorious city. Was built by the Spinitus by gods. Okay. So we got ourselves number nine, the um, Dyson Sphere. It's a Dyson. Nice. We got number 81. We got the Super Dora. That's actually a really strong card, too. Altergeist. And there we go. We got Salman Great. A card that everybody uses. Broken Line. Not seen that one before. We got Scrap Chimera. That's our gold rare. And we got Trishula. That is nice. So that is really good. That's our two gold rares right there. And yes, the rares are gold writing as well. So their class is gold rare. And these are called gold foil rares. So you guys understand my gist of it. Let me go ahead and sleeve up the hollows first off. The rares, I'll sleeve them off camera because if I do that, it's going to go on forever. We got Lost World. Good for your dinos. Hey, Numons are in this set as well. I completely forgot. We got number three, Numon Gate. Prank Kids. Sadly, this, this set is slightly banned now because of its link card. We got the Fire Charmer. Um, Ma um, Majesty's Fiend. Nice. We got Fossil Diner. Gold Rare. One that a lot, a lot of people absolutely despise because it's such a great effect. And we got number C1000, Numeronus. Okay. Not very, it's a very, very strong um, Numeron card, but uh, playing it is going to take you forever. And when you take that forever, you're pretty much going to lose anyway, so I wouldn't recommend using it. At the minute, we've not found anything extremely awesome yet but still never mind the fossil card was still good though we got yang zings uh, micro coda urgent schedule striker dragon good card we got the earth charmer oh tempest dragon will of the storm it just got unbanned so this card is gonna be quite playable now so that is good to pull oh and i invoke upside down oh Yo, look at that. That has been damaged like there's no tomorrow. What happened to you? Oh, man. He got chewed up like there was no tomorrow. Oh, look at that. That is... That's the manufacturer error. That is... That is... Unreal. That is terrible. You can't win them all though, people, but that was an upside down invoker and it was damaged like hell. Oh god. 
That is terrible. Well, let's leave it up either way, but no value for that one. That is destroyed, but whatever. Next pack. Number four, Numeron. Scrap Riven. Prank Kids, Weather Washer. Six Samurais. We got M7. Oh, Familiar Process Lena. Okay. And the Nightmare Unicorn. I'll take that. It's a great card. So, yeah, not too bad, but what a shame about the Invocation spell card being extremely damaged. I don't know how on earth that's happened. The manufacturer definitely screwed that up and didn't do stock control whatsoever, but. You can't win them all, people. You really can't. But whatever. Doesn't matter. They're all the rares. Do I think this was actually really good? Uh, probably didn't break even. Probably a little bit less money than that. But these, these three cards probably would give me a bit of my money a little bit back. Because these three are definitely worth it. Sadly for that one, that would have been. But it's not. So yeah, I'm very happy with it. Cannot complain. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember, people, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. If you guys can, I'd absolutely appreciate it. With that being said, the people are absolutely good to you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh, Konami, you were slipped up back in that day, man. That is a terrible freaking cut. That's ridiculous. I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!